Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another edition of Film Topic. Hello. Today is all about Aquaman, and you're joining me, Jamie Sheldon, and me, Jamie Shell. Oh no, that's not me. Aaron O'Brien, that's yeah, me. That bastard. <coughs> all right, calm down. So this week we actually said we're going to do. Aquaman. Yep. And f- yes, we, we, we held up to our words. <laughs> we held to our words. It's a good time as well, because what Aquaman has just made $1 billion at the box office. So it's still relevant. That's the highest... Um, That's the highest grossing DC... Yeah. Well, it's, it's become... It's, it's, it's almost the highest grossing DC film. You took the words right out of my mouth. <laughs> well, I'm sorry, mate. I, I'm just faster than you. Yeah, true to that. <laughs> but yeah, uh, as you might notice with this episode, we're going with a different format. We're going with a more traditional podcast type deal with this one uh you're just going to hear our voices with images on the screen related to what we're talking about i don't know if we're going to be doing this all the time but we're just experimenting yeah, at the we're, moment we're experimenting with formats to see which one is going to work for the future of film topics so bear with us and just sit back relax get some popcorn or some peanuts as we have right here or a cup of tea or a cup of tea or a coffee or a coffee yeah or some and, in, in, and enjoy so first of all yeah now you've seen the film what do you think overall? Is it was it great? Did it, did it meet expectations, Aaron? I I love this movie. <laughs> it was brilliant, wasn't it? I I love this movie. It had its moments. It was it it was cheesy and objectively, yes, it had really bad moments. But overall, I love this film. It was entertaining. I would I I, can't, I would be lying if I said I wasn't thoroughly entertained. And I think I could rewatch this film a lot. This is such a good film. It was. Before this, right, like, a couple months ago when it was announced, I was like, no, how can Aquaman be good? Yeah, The I DC mean, is going uh, downhill so bad, it'll be another bomb. And, I, and I've never been interested in Aquaman because he is the laughingstock of DC. <laughs> he is. Aqu- poor Aquaman, he's, he's, he's been the laughingstock of not just DC, just superheroes in general. But then that. Wonder Woman came out and I thought, you know what? DC might have a well, chance here. Here's the thing. Aqu- J- Jack- uh, Jackwoman. Just- <laughs> Jackwoman. Jackwoman. <laughs> Justice League. Justice League, I enjoyed it for what it was. Yeah. Um, I enjoyed it a lot more the first time I saw it. Yeah. But, uh, you know, thinking back to it and re-watching it, yeah, it's not great. And one thing that I came away from that film was, Jason Momoa was good in it. Yeah. But I wasn't, like, excited for his film. No. We knew at the time that he had his own movie coming out. But then the trailers dropped. And the trailers dropped. Oh, my God, then the trailers were the, beautiful. Some of the trailers... Oh, I don't know. Some of the trailers looked a bit off sometimes. They looked off. I get it, like, maybe with the CG CGI in the CGI wouldn't but be finished. what really hooked me was the, the clips of Atlantis. Oh, yeah, the stuff with Atlantis. Yeah, yeah that was, it just looked, it looked beautiful. The, the stuff with Atlantis in this film was great. It looks absolutely magnificent. But, I mean, Atlantis. But the was... film opened with some pretty poor CG. <laughs> it was pretty uh, shit. Uh, this, this film had a bit of a... Um, bit of an iffy opening, to be honest with you. I mean... Right, the whole stuff with... Uh, spoiler alert, by the way. We're going to talk spoilers Yes. in this episode. Um, so, yeah, if you haven't seen the film, or you don't care, don't watch this, or listen to this, should I say. Just tune out. Yeah, tune out, because film topic is all about spoilers. Yes, We're yeah. here to discuss We're here. talking depth about anything and everything. Because yeah. so. we care. Yes. So, um, the opening of this film. Um, bit cheesy. Um, very the whole cheesy. stuff with Queen. Not, not the bit very cheesy. <laughs> <laughs> the whole stuff with Queen Atlanta, um, just washing up on shore, and uh, Aquaman's dad. I forget his name. Finding See, it. I'm not. I don't know much about uh, Aquaman. I'm, I'm not. I don't have the strongest. So I was Aquaman. like, out of, all the, out, of, out of all the big DC comic heroes, I think Aquaman is one that I know least about, really. Um, but uh, I forget his name. I forget his, the name of his dad. Just finds her. Um, a bit confused at first because you know obviously she's like but after a few minutes though, the story does get into she's it like, and she's, it introduces us to the characters really well I think she's oh no yeah it's set up it's, it was a nice little it set up his dad really well and yeah Atlanta didn't really said barely anything well actually neither of them said barely anything um a bit confused because she went and ate a fish she went and ate his <laughs> goldfish I thought hang on a minute <laughs> I thought Atlantis loved, loved, loved the fishy, fishy realm of stuff. Well, you've got to think about it, Aaron. Um, they, they do live in the sea. They do live in what the sea. What do fish do in what, the sea? Yeah, what, what, would, like, what would Atlantis do? These are like, I'm yeah. not saying like fish like creatures, but they do live with the fish. Maybe they got to eat just to survive. But yeah, yeah. Well, what else can they eat, really, in the ocean? Seaweed. 
Seaweed, I suppose, <laughs> but I can't imagine. I can't imagine. I mean, have you seen how buff and muscly these Atlanteans are? I can't imagine you could get that beef. All that protein. In all that, unless protein, <laughs> unless seaweed is full of protein. In which case, let's start eating seaweed and go hitting that gym, right? Um, oh. Yeah. Um, and his dad is not even phased by it. He was like, "You ate my goldfish." Don't eat my dog, mate. I was like, like well, you just ate one of my goldfish, for God's sake. <laughs> What's your problem, woman? It's all right, I love you anyway. <laughs> it's all right, we'll have a kid together. <laughs> and he'll grow up to be a superhero. I'm hoping that scene, though, but when the, the CGI people come in. Ah, oh, yes. As much as bad as that CG was. The, the fight, this is, this yeah. is, you got a good indication how good the action will be in this film, because yeah. this film had great action. That, that opening This action. had, like, some of the best action wow. in the whole DCEU, didn't it? <laughs> it? It was awesome. There was, like, a one-shot take, Atlanta's jumping and flipping all over the living all room. Over the cities, all over the, the cities, crashing down. Everything. She's beating them all up. That was a, an amazing action sequence. Everything was in frame, it was great. It's no shaky cam or anything like that. It's very rare you get a proper, well-choreographed fight scene like that. That's just all one take and one shot. And that is the first of many good action sequences in this film. You just know what you're getting into yeah. right there, don't you? Yeah, you do. It sets it up perfectly. You're just like, all right, I'm in for some good action here. That's, this, this is good. There's always a good action in an Aquaman movie. You know, I'm, I'm set. I'm done. I'm, I'm like, all right, let's let's go for this. Uh, and then we also... This also eventually led to the... Uh, uh, well, I thought this bit was a bit cringy. Uh, you know, the young young Aquaman in the in the, the sea life, life thing. Uh, the sea My life. mind is not that fresh because it has been a couple of weeks. Do you remember when he was... It. It's the scene I, when he's a kid. When he's a when he's a little boy, I remember him standing there in front of the window of yeah. the fish because that was in the trailer yeah. and stuff. But then boy kids were just yeah, I think that was a bit yeah, <laughs> bad bad acting, yeah, bad kid acting. Uh, pretty. Cringy. I did like the kid though. He did look. He did look like. Oh, he looks like a, he looked like a little Arthur Curry. He looked like yeah. a little Jason Momoa, but um, no, <laughs> <laughs> not happen, is it? No, that, that I'm sorry. That I'm just um, and but he's not even the worst. The guy who plays teenage Arthur. Oh no, he was God awful. Damn. God damn, son. Oh, that man. Oh, God. Where'd you get him from? <laughs> Replace him next was time. Li- was literally... Was there no other, like, criteria to get in this job other than look a bit like a young Jason Momoa? No, do not care about the acting. Oh, you look like him. You, you, you look, look a bit you like... You've got the part, mate. Come on, join You the, look a bit like him. join the team. Doesn't matter if you can act or not. Just get in this sand and you'll talk to Willem Dafoe for a bit. <laughs> it was like, yeah, great, I'll do that. Willem Dafoe were great. Oh, Volker... It was great. I love Willem Dafoe. It's weird because he was the Green Goblin. Wasn't he it? was the Green Goblin. <laughs> now seeing the DC film, now seeing him as a good guy in a DC movie. Oh, it's, it's great. I loved it. I loved. I love Willem Dafoe, Volko in this. He was so likable. He was such a good lad. I hope uh, this won't be the last we see of Volko because this, this film's definitely getting a sequel. No yeah. doubt about it. No, it, well with a like, one million, like I said, one billion at the box. Oh, office. one billion, sorry, one, one billion, billion at the box office. This one is getting a sequel. Billion, man. One billion. So this is it's a household name now, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. Let's face it. It's a uh, it's a powerhouse. It is, right, rightfully so. Um, Jason Momoa, then. What were your overall thought, thoughts on Jason Momoa's portrayal of Aquaman? Overall, or when he first entered, like, in the movie? I suppose you can... I suppose, just, like, overall, like... I thought he was absolutely brilliant. I, I, I loved every second when he was on screen. He is really charismatic. He was really funny. I like how he plays, like, this really badass character, like, in the intro, just came in. It's like, it is... Oh, you know I don't mean? know, it's just... He's, he's believable as a badass, isn't he? Yeah. Like that submarine scene when he just pops down and he goes, he's so cheesy oh, and he I says, love, permission to come aboard. <laughs> I love that. He's a little quips. Uh, like, <laughs> Brilliant. I love like, oh, if, if the, I have a feeling if this was anyone else, that would have been terrible. Yeah. But Jason Momoa, he is charismatic and he can pull off that. I didn't know Aquaman was bulletproof. Like, not bulletproof. No, <laughs> no his it skin's is, really it's strong. It's not bulletproof. His, his, his skin's strong, like, standard metal can't penetrate it. But yeah. Atlantean steel I, could I, penetrate see, I never it. knew that. And watching this film, it just introduced a lot of concepts and ideas that I didn't yeah. know that was even, like, to do with Aquaman. And it's made us want to try and go back. Uh, well, it's made me want to interested in going back and getting I, some. I gave it a chance. Rebirth comics. I gave it a reading. chance. I thought Aquaman. You know what? The trailer looked good. This could be good, and it just it blew me away. It uh, absolutely blew me away. And when he appeared in, um, when he fight um the the, uh, the people at the beginning, I don't know who they were. Oh, the some of the pirates. Yeah, the pirate. Yeah, I, yeah. I, can't, I can't remember because I'm, it's not that. The pirates. It was a setup for but, Black Manta. Yeah, but, uh, but I can remember a lot from this film though. <clears throat> remember the general. Yeah, the, I remember the general thing, outlines yeah. of things. And the, like the Black Manta set up, I thought that was alright. Yeah, Black Manta was great as well. We'll get to him. It's like, were they trying to make him likable? Who, Black Manta? Yeah, with his father, because that, that was sort I think, of, I felt a bit for that. I think I think Black Manta is, I don't actually know this because I haven't read any Aquaman stuff really, but I think from what I've heard here, I think Black Manta is generally like more of a sympathetic villain. 
Yeah. Like in the comics, I think. I could be wrong. Like, like I say, any Aquaman comic fans, you can correct us. Because uh, we haven't read anything to do with Aquaman. No, we've read nothing. We've read a couple of um, Justice League We've read a, couple, read a couple of Justice League Green Lantern and re- well, a few I, Rebirth things. He's, but... a, he's, one of, he's one of the main... He's villains. one of the core Justice League members. Is I mean, like, and, Bla- oh, Black Manta's Black Manta, well, Black Manta's like the main Aquaman villain, I think. He's like... Right, a lot of people do... He's like the joke. He's like, the, he's like Aquaman's Joker. Yeah. You know, he, he's, he's the big... I think he's the big bad of Aquaman. I think the guys look so spot on. It's oh my God, it was great. Because <laughs> I... Awesome. I he, he was pitch perfect. The, the comic book accurate thing is in this. My God, like even the costume at the end, we'll talk about that. that was, oh, oh, costume and that oh, whole, bro. that whole, <gasps> that whole, this whole <laughs> ending made me. Oh, I just never felt so happy. <laughs> I, 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 May I say it was orgasmic? It was. <laughs> this is just such a. The, this movie, it wasn't ashamed of what it was, was it? It knew no. what it was. It knew it was. It a, was a fun, enjoyable movie. It knew movie. it was a fun comic book adaptation of Aquaman, and it didn't take itself seriously. This is a. This is see. We've had a few good films in the DCU now. We've had Wonder Woman. Then we had Justice League after that, which was a bit of a dud. Now we've got Aquaman. Next is Shazam. I think the future's looking bright for the DCU now. I think they're finally turning it around. If, yeah, because they're not forcing it now. Because it's getting to right. a point now where Aquaman was good. Shazam looks really good. You kind of think... But we, they look good, but we don't know... Yeah, we don't know about Shazam. Until we watch them. But I think Aquaman is a good step in the right direction for the DC. Yeah, definitely. I completely agree. And this stuff like this will make people want a Justice League movie more. Yeah. If they do you know? make more movies like Aquaman and Wonder Woman and they take the time, put the effort into it, because they know what the fans want and there's a lot of source material. If, well, now if, they're not they're not rushing to do team-up movies anymore, are they? No. They've got the Justice League out of the way. If they, it didn't yeah, do that well. If they keep on just progressing as they are doing now, yeah. uh, the, the DC uh, DCEU's future just looks so promising. Exactly. Look, yeah. Like I said, Aquaman on his own made one billion dollars at the box office. Did you? Justice ex- League didn't even would, make. Would, would you think that though? No, I wouldn't have thought it. To be honest, I wouldn't have thought it would have gotten one billion. Like, I thought it would have made a decent amount, but you know, Wonder Woman made quite a lot of money. I think this has made more than Wonder Woman now. It's made more than Dark Knight Rises, and it's still going. And it's still going, yeah. So like, but, but um, I, I read online that's because uh, partially to do with China, and but, oh yeah, it's because the film's bit. generally really good. Yeah, well, people enjoy it. I mean, there's and people for, out there who don't like yeah, it. Yeah, spreading the word of word of mouth, and it's just got yeah. even more people to watch it. Um, if you have stuff like this, this is what they need to... They, they did the Justice League. That was a dud. They're learning from it now. They're like, right, let's not rush these team-up movies now. So Warner Brothers now would be probably thinking... I think they're learning the lesson. Yeah, now. they've learned the lesson, and they're probably thinking, Aquaman's now the future. Because this, this, is, a, this is the future. This was a, as well. His this, face and name yeah. going to be everywhere. This was a good standalone movie as well. Yeah. There was no... No set up to other, f- no set up to other character, other other films. I mean, there was a set up to a sequel in the mid credit scene to the film, but there was no like forced universe pushing. There was, there was that one mention. There was, of there was one ref- one name drop of Stephen Steppenwolf uh, in the film. That was it. That was the only mention to do with anything like Justice League. There was nothing else like out there. There was no other reference to any other superheroes. There was no other like that. This was like besides that Steppenwolf name drop. This was a great standalone movie on its own. I so completely it, agree with you. The, so it, it just worked and it knew what it was. It was fun and it, it just had really good moments. One thing I didn't like in this film though. And um, what's that? Uh, the romance. <coughs> the romance. <laughs> it's laughable. So forced. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's so laughable. It's so forced. It is literally just, we've got a main character guy, we've got a main lad, we've got a main woman. Slap him in the Slap middle. Slap him in a relationship now. Yeah. You're like, come on now. Like, the thing is, it's not that Amber Heard, Mera, she's a really good character. Amber Heard knocked out the part. I really liked her. Like, she's gorgeous. <laughs> but she's a good actress as well. Like, she really played this role yeah. really well. I really liked I didn't mind them the romance, me. I, I didn't mind. I could see, yeah, it, it's it's clearly false, but for oh, the story and everything, I thought, you know, it's all right. Here's the thing. It's just okay. It's not that they didn't have good chemistry. When they're bantered, like more like friends. When they have banter back and forth with each other, like friends do. Yeah. I thought they've got good chemistry here. I think they should have just stayed as like mates. <laughs> <laughs> the moment that they started putting this romance into, maybe it, they could like, have, oh, maybe they could, uh, maybe they could have done it. the romance for the next movie. Maybe yeah, they could have like developed. They could have it. developed it over yeah. time, but it just felt really rushed and it felt really forced. And it just felt like well, the, it just felt like they had to tick it off a of, tick off a checklist box. <laughs> right, like, yeah, here yeah. we go. Relationship status. Yeah, we've gone on the movie. Yeah. Right, yeah, right, yeah, yeah, exactly. All right, okay, you just know, moving on with that. But the thing is, as soon as they became more in more like a relationship way, or they've started to fall in love or whatever, that's when I thought eh, it's getting a bit 
pushy now. When they were bantering as friends and having a joke about each other, I bought yeah. it. I was like, yeah, I can see these two. They're good mates. They banter. They insult each other. It's banter. Bants. But the moment that, like, you know, when they're in that uh, King Atlans, like, um, you know, in that desert. Yeah. And they, she, like, stumbles off a thing and he grabs her by the waist and or the hand or whatever and they sort of look at each other's hands and then there's just sl- slumps away. I was like, oh, for God, here we go. Here we go. It's starting now, isn't it? And then it happens again when they're in that other... Is it Italy? I can't remember. Uh, I'm not sure, but I think it's Italy. It is. It's something like Italy. Which, or, we, we, said, we had some of the best actions. Yeah, there. that's when we led to the fight with Black Manta, but there was that scene where she fall, fell off a little statue and he grabbed her. Save her life. <laughs> Cause she, forget cause it, mate. Forget <laughs> it. Come on, man. And they looked at each other again. It's like, what's going on here? Are we falling in love? Like, it, just, it felt forced. I, I, I just wasn't keen. I didn't buy it at all. I'll tell you what I did love. Like I said, I love Atlantis. Mm. I like the build-up to Ocean Master. Yeah. Orm, Orm was a good villain, Ocean, Ocean yeah. Master. Brilliant villain. Really good villain, because he had his generic moments. Yeah. But, you know, I somewhat believe... Especially with the ending, because it wasn't just a one-off villain. It's believable, because... Like, yeah, it's not a one-off villain, but how he became to be, like, a villain in the film. Because yeah. It, it was because of that submarine, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah, it was because of that so submarine the, the, attacked it's, him, yeah. I think it's a believable reason, yeah. The, uh, no, Atlantis uh, is believed to be under attack with the with the surface world, so that's why he's going to take his army and have a war. Yeah. It so was a, it, a war, it, rage it, war on the surface yeah, it, dwellers. It, 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 makes, it makes total sense. And, and, and that's why he wants to, he wants, he wants if, you know, if you was to defend your, your kingdom, your kingdom, you that's a good word, yeah. yes, defend your kingdom, yes, you're going to go and war with them, you're like, you're, you're, you're blowing up my, my kingdom, you, I'm not, I'm not going to let that happen. It's not way. just that as well, it's the fact that the human, like, the surface dwellers, Dwell. you know, <laughs> um, the surface dwellers also, you know pollute the oceans and stuff with yeah. garbage and rubbish and they go and kill the whales and all that <laughs> stuff you know it was, it was it was a cool little believable motivation i mean it was still had its generic moments but i think he could um what do you think he needed <coughs> bless you thank you <laughs> <laughs> so what do you think he needed then um i think he need he had a few moments of um i think he needed more moments of um Self doubt of um, like conflicting of like conflicting with himself like maybe yeah. he, had, he had a few moments like that like when like when Queen Atlanta returned and he was like you know when he was to step back. He thought strongly believed you know he strongly believed yeah. that he was doing the right thing. Yeah, and then, then, but no, maybe like, no conflict whatsoever to do with himself. Um, but like the way he's not, he wasn't just a one-off villain. He didn't just get killed off. And at the end, where Arthur says to him, and he's getting taken to like the the, uh, the Atlantean jail or whatever, uh, and Aquaman's like. Let's talk. <laughs> <laughs> Let's talk. I'm like, yeah. Uh, <laughs> all right. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Let's talk. He said something like that. I know he did. He said something about... earlier when they were first battle, which was absolutely brilliant. Oh yeah, that that fight. Well, oh, he's trying to get um, oh. destroying everything. That, that was expected because he was going to get tried anyway. I'll think to myself. I think to myself like maybe this is a setup. Maybe he's slowly gonna become more good throughout future movies. Yeah. Maybe he'll be like Loki in the MCU. Bad. Little Loki oh. started bad, and then he developed. Now he's not a villain at all. Maybe I'm thinking maybe o- Ocean Master could be the same with the way it ended with him. Yeah. Quite open and uh, you know I, 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 that'd be there is that possibility. Yeah. So I reckon that could be a good idea. I mean, maybe he's. I don't know. Again, I don't know if Ocean Master is a straight up bastard in in the in the comics or not. But you know, maybe they could set up that. But yeah. Speaking of that first fight to take the throne off Orm. Bloody brilliant. <laughs> That's all I you, were, you were lost for words there, weren't you? I was thinking how, how good it was. Uh, yeah, you were lost I, for I, words. I, no, no, because I was thinking of the action scenes that happened with the tridents and the lab and everything. That's all why, the stuff. That's why, tr- that, that's why I didn't... The trident wow. action was so... Yeah, like, I was just thinking how good it was. It's because it's just rememberable. It was. I. It, in it, fact, there's a lot of things in this movie that's rememberable. The, the, mate, mate, the, all the major action sequences in this movie, super memorable. I haven't. Yeah, I haven't seen this in a couple of weeks. And yeah, yeah, you can still remember the major yeah. action sequences, yeah. like the the submarine opening, for example. Um, the the uh, the fight. Yeah. With, can uh, I just say, as we're talking right now, I have not 
like being online and read anything to update myself on my knowledge. Yeah. I'm just going off what I... I'm more, it's know. more fresh in my brain. Yeah. And plus, I technically saw it twice because the first time I got to, like, the part where he finds his mum again. Yeah. And then the fire alarm went off. And then I went <laughs> and saw it again fully. So, I, you know, I've seen it twice, technically. It's been so annoying. So, yeah, that... But you've seen it now. That's the main yeah. thing. So, the first... And then the, the first fight with um, Ocean Master, that was great. They were all over the place. Like, I'm just... <laughs> but I'm wondering, like... What a, cr- what a crap view for those <laughs> Atlanteans because they go so they veer off so far away and I'm like if I was one of those Atlanteans I'm like I can't see and if you can see they're just like little ants like it's like little ants swinging forks about <laughs> you know do they have like binoculars <laughs> I didn't see any of them with bi- I didn't see any of them with they're still any like binoculars. yeah they're still yeah they're like way way miles away fighting somewhere else where they couldn't possibly see but they're still going yeah and lots of, yeah, going, yeah. Did, did you see what happened <laughs> Why is everyone cheering? I can't see. Just go with it. <laughs> just, just gotta pretend, mate. Just go with it, mate. Um, but yeah, that scene of uh, the choreography was in this fight. I love it how Arthur's obviously, so cocky. I know. This is great. I mean, that whole... It fits his character that so whole, well. That whole first confrontation where Arthur's chained up. Do you remember that? When Arthur's chained up. I didn't like that. Did you not like it? I really liked it's it. Not, it's not the, the story. Um, the story, it's alright. It's. I was more... Amused with how it looked, that scene just looked strange. It's because it was so bright white. It was like bright was white. Bright where was that, Atlantis? The was, you should know. Didn't it it would have been. Um, forgot, is it the, no, it the throne? I can't. I can't, yeah, I can't it, was, it, was it was like the throne. Yeah. The throne rooms just look. Oh, it's just all white. It's not the fact that it's just all white. It's not the color. It's just the CGI just looks so off. It looked off at points. Yeah, it looked off at points. I suppose one of them, but I I liked. I don't know. I just I because I think Jason Momoa is like the way he delivered lines and that. Uh, I thought it was quite intense in that moment. Actually, I, 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 I'm not. I'm not gonna lie. I was so focusing on, on how weird the room looks. I won't really listen. Oh, no, when, I, sort, I sort of um, picked it back up again because uh, when yeah. he went to go, swim, yeah, when I he guess. swims, when he swims towards Orm, yeah, when he, he got, got, chain from, he got the chain around, yeah, that, that, that was pretty intense. And I thought like Jason Momoa had some pretty good intense delivery. It was like it was badass but intense at the same time. Like like I believe that he's gonna beat this guy's ass, even though he doesn't really. But um. Yeah, I mean, all the stuff on all overall, all the stuff on Atlantis was, uh, was great. I was nothing. I I had no complaints about Atlantis. So after the fight, um, they go to Italy, right? Yeah, this is where they. Well, the this is where the movie becomes a bit of a, uh, like a, a road not a road trip movie, but an adventure movie because they're out, out looking for. You know, King Atlant. Uh, King Mera's been on land. King Atlantis. It, uh, it wasn't Mera on land for the first time then. Oh no, there was that no, scene before a, that one. No, it wasn't a fur with a car. No, yeah. Oh, I felt oh, so God, much for his dad. Yeah, I forgot about that moment where that giant wave. Oh, that was man, awesome. That that this, man, that wave was mental. Like, oh God, I love it how like because when he's swimming through the water and he gets his dad in it. Yeah. Then there's it creates that little whirlpool thing. So yeah, because that was kind of what they did in Justice League you could sort of see the, like how they did it with the effects and locations because it's now there's a lot of underwater stuff and that's just great that you can hear them normally then because the voices do sound a bit weird I, yeah, when they're I do struggle to hear what they say sometimes what when they're underwater yes weirdly yeah, yeah I struggle to hear I think they talk pretty clearly they just they had a bit of like clearly. a they had a bit of like a reverb to it or something yeah the reverb it's, it's, that's what I'm saying I, I know what they're saying I understand what they're saying but it's just a bit I to, you know you, you have to listen out that a little bit more carefully I don't, yeah. you know, that's just me that's just why I, I, yeah, I, I suppose, experience I suppose because I suppose, I suppose. then again I don't really have good hearing do I oh yeah you don't yeah, yeah you, I don't you, really you, have good hearing so Big yeah. ears. <laughs> no, I've got little ears. Little ears, that's the And one, I listen sorry. to a lot of music, so... With headphones in. Yeah, of course. Yeah, well... So I, I did struggle at times. I'm not saying I struggled <coughs> throughout the entire movie, but there is a few times where I was like, what What did he say? Was that last oh, word? Okay. <laughs> you know what I mean? So, yeah, in these little whirlwind... Uh, well, whirlwind... Uh, whirlpool, sorry. The, that they make. That yeah. Mary makes, yeah. So just a bit of relief for me. I mean, yeah... Because she did it in Justice League as well, didn't she? When they talk for when they talk for and, and, and he saved his dad, which I was just like, oh, please save his dad. I was because like, yeah, I, don't let his dad. I die. don't know why his, his dad's not in it that much, but like from the set, yeah. from the beginning, he's he's, he's a very likable I mean, character. The relationship, the relationship between him and his dad, though, doesn't feel like a father son relationship, does it? No, it's more like mates. <laughs> it feels more like mates because then because they go to this pub, they go to this, <laughs> oh, yeah, they they go to this pub, they're just having oh. drinks together, just like. Oh, I love it. I love, Some love news comedy. to do with a pirate's beast. Something like that with you, wouldn't it? Yeah, you're right, like, you're right Dad. Yeah, yeah, mate. Yeah, <laughs> drinking, back in car. Alcohol, and then these bikers come. Off for a swim today, son. 
<laughs> no, you know, I've been swimming for the past few. Years. I love how his father goes to the end of the. He goes to the end of the end of the pier yeah. every every day, every morning, I can't, every every. No, I can't remember. Probably Is it we'll when the sun's that. rising or when the sun's setting? Sun's setting, I believe. I think it's when it's rising. Rising. It's every morning, I, can't, isn't it? I can't remember. So it's, it's rising every, or setting. It's every morning. I can't I can't believe he would do that though. Man, that's true love for you. <laughs> true love is good. He's got so far. That's true love for you. He didn't move on. He must on. get, uh, like, you know. That t- guy hasn't. Think about it. 20 years into this, right? I don't know how. Aquaman's about over 20, so. Yeah, it would be over 20, it, it, 20 yeah. 20 years. So, so maybe He's like. He's over 20, definitely. Yeah, so let's say 15 to 20 years in. He must get to that pier one day, but like, for fuck's sake. He <laughs> must think, for God's sake, I have not. I have not gotten laid for 15 years. <laughs> really? That's the, why, that's the reason why he's gone to the pier? <laughs> Oh no, I'm not gonna go there. Stand on this pier, wait for my love. Come here, give you sex now. <laughs> well, come on now, like he's obviously staying loyal to Atlanta, right? She hasn't been here for like twenty odd years, whatever well, it is. He'll, he he'll must be. Her brain. Oh no. He, he his his balls must be blue. <laughs> but you think about it, if he did go to someone else, I'm pretty sure the, if she did return, she would have his brains out for that. No. He saw what she could do. <laughs> yeah, he saw what she could do. So which if would I was, a, I'd be like, oh, better would, not do anything. Which here. a would make him think, I best not go out and get laid <laughs> with anyone else, just in case she comes back. Uh, because see what she could do, and you know, maybe he just genuinely didn't want her. He didn't want anyone else. But I'm just I think thinking, we're going way off topic. A little bit. We're just uh, yeah. What were we talking about? But yeah, that 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 scene with the pier that will come into play at the end, which yeah. we will we will talk about. What so, you think uh, happens, happens. Yeah. <laughs> what, what, what we're actually on about now, Aaron? We were talking... We were ah, we were going to get to the um, the Black Manta sequence. Uh, in Italy. In, is it Italy? It's some place like yeah. that. I can't remember. If we're Italy, do please correct us in yeah, the comments. Yeah, if it's not Italy, if correct us. If, if we're wrong. Somewhere like that. Um, where we get another great action sequence. Uh, I think that's... I, I don't know. But to me, I think that's... More, uh, that could be possibly the most memorable... Action, uh, you know, yeah, because there was action scene. because there was this because there was this had a really good. I mean, the the whole fight with Aquaman and Black Manta on its own. I think like because really we're good. anticipating it. Yeah, and that on its own was really good. But then you had stuff with Mera happening on the side of that, which was also really good. Like you had um the moment where she takes all the bottles of wine and she makes yeah. all these sharp daggers and stabs all these really things. cool. Oh, that guy, oh, the, guy who, in the, toilet. the guy who sticks his head in the toilet. <laughs> yeah, oh, really like that. The guy who sticks his head in the Love toilet. That. Um, There's something I don't forget about though, because American breed on 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 one, but why can't? No, the, these ones can't. These are different. Like I think like that. Well, that's not clearly established to me, so I guess that's a bad they, thing. They said something it. about one it in the film point. at some point. They said something about it in the film at some point. I'm sure they did. I can't remember exactly um, what was said, but I think I'm sure something was. But yeah, because he had that. He had stuff in Mary with the wine bottles, and he also had this like one shot. There's one single take shot. It was like following one of those that were great, soldiers that. In running through wall that reminded me of X Men. Do you know what it reminded me of Predator? Wait, it reminded you of Predator. Yeah, it reminded me of it reminded, punching down walls. It reminded him. me of Vinnie Jones in X Men. Is that X Men? I'm the fucking juggernaut. I'm the fucking juggernaut, <laughs> bitch. <laughs> right? It reminded me of that because uh, I forget her name from X Men, but the one who runs through the walls. Yeah. Uh, and Vinnie Jones, the juggernaut, <laughs> is chasing her and he's running through walls. <laughs> it's what it's what it reminded me of in this. But yeah, it was like one shot, he runs through a few walls, then the camera comes out through the window and it goes to the, to the roof and Mera's running on the roof. Then it cuts back to Alpha Curry yeah, on the side. Eyes, yeah, fighting uh, at Black Manta. Yeah. This whole sequence on it. This, they're saving someone. Yeah, this whole sequence was really cool. And before that, you had the moment where uh, Mera just goes full on WWE <laughs> Hurricane Rana mode on these, like, on these, um, these Atlantean Oh, she knows soldiers. the stuff. She like, knows, she knows the stuff. Yeah, she's, she's got some good moves and she doesn't really use them again. Unfortunately. Unfortunately. <laughs> <laughs> but, but, However, though, uh, we saw an action then. I think that's satisfying. Yeah. yeah it's very Mera's, satisfying. Mera's a badass. I, 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 just, I, love I just don't like it how Black Manta just got kicked off the cliff. Yeah. <laughs> just, it looks like he's banged, that, you know, banged his head on the rock and he's, just, he's never seen again until he's the de- end. He's never seen it until the mid-credit scene. But let's face yeah. the facts. I don't know why I keep saying that. We can all say that we sort of knew he would return. Yes. Maybe in another movie or at the end. Yeah. And he did return at the end. Which Look, sets up he else. needs to be the. He's obviously going to be the main villain of the sequel, which is definitely going to. Happen. I felt. I feel like it's like it's fair. Fair. People, screen time people say he was underused in this film, but I think he was used actually a really good. Yeah, role. yeah, that's what because, I'm saying. I think he's, yeah, I, I think share. I think he had enough. He had enough t- screen time to like make him a worthy adversary for future movies. We've got his origin. 
Yeah, we got we had, we had the build up. We yeah. got we got how he made his suit. We got how he made his suit. Then we had the fight and the interaction, and that's that's all. That and that, that, that suit, really. that suit, you guarantee. We know why he wants to. Yeah, you know why he wants to take it off. And you know for a fact that that suit isn't going to be like his final suit. He's going to have like an even better one in the sequel, probably. More than likely, definitely. Well, yeah, like, definitely. So it's just, I think he had a good setup in this film for like future movies. So I, I, I don't, I, I can see why people think he was just a bit like, yeah, he was just a bit side, just, a, <laughs> yeah. just a character on the side that yeah. was just distracting from the main story. But do you know? I think, I think he, he was just set up really. I think it was just a good setup for him and for future movies. So what happened after that? Was it? Was it? Was it the? It was a journey in the sand, was it? That's, the, that's, yeah. it's after that. They find, they put the bottle in that statue's hand. Didn't I find that. The that just that was, was stupid. What if that statue would have got, like, say, some, I don't know, some gangsters or something. Well, vandalised it. Vandalised it and broke it. Then Arthur yeah. would never look through it and find it out. That's just ridiculous. Well, let's just be glad there were no vandals around there. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, there might have been. They were all... What if they, like, yeah. chopped his head off, like, uh, like the that episode in The Simpsons where they took that... Uh, Oh, like in Green Hornet, would have chopped his dad's head Oh, yeah, they chopped his dad's what if, they did, what if they did that? They would never find well, the trident. They would never have found oh, that's that just, just, That's a silly sell. It doesn't make sense to me. Look. It's bullshit. <laughs> let's just believe that it happened, right? You figured right. it out. All right, figured out it happened. It got there. He could have pissed on that thing to activate it with it the water. He could have pissed on Did that you thing. Did not remind me of Fifth Element? I have not seen Fifth Element. You've not seen... Oh, God, that's something to talk about later. In, yeah, in Fifth Element, there's uh, these stones where to activate you got to use uh, the elements. Uh, fire. He was I was going to say, I thought you were going to say you had to use piss. Well, he didn't use piss, but <laughs> in the movie, no, in Aquaman, he said he was going to wee on it. Yeah, he, he said he could have peed on it. But yeah. it, it, in Fifth Element, it just, it's like a bit of sweat. Oh, like, well, she does the same thing when they're in the desert. Yeah, pretty yeah. much gets a bit of sweat. Copying the idea, yeah. perhaps, maybe from that movie. He's then not... fires with fire, obviously, with a yeah. match. Earth from, like, sand, the grains. Yeah. And air, you just blow on it. That, that was the element in that movie. Oh, well. I guess I have to watch Fifth Element. It just really reminded me of that. He has, um, a, he has a point, though. He could have just peed on it. Yeah. But, yeah, so it's a lot more easier. Yeah. Well, I'm going to have to watch Fifth Element. It'd be funny if we know it, though. Oh, yes, just release him in the CD. <laughs> release the CD. <laughs> Is that what he calls his penis? <laughs> Release the sea <laughs> demon. <laughs> oh, good God. lord. Mary, you're in for some sea demon <laughs> action. Oh. Um, yeah, this then leads to the um, the trench, the creatures of the trench. I forgot about them, I'm not going to lie. Before this podcast, I completely forgot about all hey, of man, them. Hey, man, those creatures... They're, they're not rememberable, but until Aaron did mention it, I thought there was another creepy-ass looking They fish. were creepy-ass hell, man. Do you think they looked a bit like... I, well, thought they, I thought they looked a bit like something from like Evil Dead. Yeah, I could see them being someone like. I can see about. Like, but yeah, I mean, before that, you had like a little yeah. moment where Arthur talks Scavengers about. Scavengers, man, like rats. Yeah, you had you had you had the moment before that where Arthur and Mera are talking, and he talks about how he let Blackman his dad die and stuff, and having a bit of a regretful moment. But then that leads to the yeah the the, the trench scene where uh, you got those. Now this is where I don't know if you know James Wan who directed this. He is directed mostly horror movies. You know, he directed like Insidious. The, I didn't know this. The Conjuring. Oh, I like The Conjuring. The Conjuring. You know, all those movies. He's yeah. directed like all those. And this is where he his, his horror skills came into it, came into the movie. Like, this, this it, bit. It clearly bit. played all them, what are they called? Uh, I can't remember what they were called. They're like locusts, you know. They, they were like, yeah, they're not called locusts. But, but like, yeah, these scandals. I just remember them being the creatures of the trench. Yeah, creatures of the trench will go with that. I can't remember what they were called, though. Thousands in it. My, it's not even that. It was, not, oh, thousands. It was ridiculous. God. Because like I said, they're, they're fighting them on the boat and they, they realise, we can't, I can't act this. <laughs> right? Um, but yeah, the shot where they're swimming down. That was, that was, that, that down, was some of the best And it's a swarm of these creatures. It was... Men- and the, the music as well. Didn't they say earlier in the film that, that, that the, like they, they briefly talked about it? They? No, yeah, basically... You didn't, you the didn't, entire movie, you thought Queen Atlanta was killed. Because, yeah. because Orem's dad... Uh, got jealous because he found out she had a kid with a with her with Aquaman's dad. Yeah, but maybe and we should he, have talked about yeah. that a little bit yeah. earlier. But, but better to but yeah, it now yeah. than never. Yeah. yeah, and then it's said it's said that he he took her he took her to the trench to to have her get killed basically. Trench the worst the, the worst the trench where to get killed by all those creatures. Yeah, and um, yeah, that's that's how basically you find out about him. But you didn't expect to be this bad. No way did you My expect God, to be it was this ridiculous. bad. And plus there was like this ominous like creepy music as well that was playing as they were swimming down 
and you see the swarm of them and like I said this is where James Wan's horror talents come into a tea and it, rem- it was like it was super it was creepy because like I said that shot where they're swimming down the swarm of them the music it was intense I love that scene so much it was really good that's when they finally get to is it that little world thing that's, they get to, that's, like, that's strange they get to the US car isn't it US car when there's oh. dinosaurs, apparently. Yeah, they swim down really quick, didn't they? They swim down. <laughs> yeah, they swim down. Might have been through a wormhole in this the, little, They go in this like tornado in the water thing. That could be that could that's yeah. the, 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 that could be a wormhole. Yeah, it was like a wormhole of some kind. I thought they travelled back in time. No, no, a wormhole, worm pool. A, a worm. A, what are you gonna go? A worm pool. Yeah, it's a worm pool. A worm pool. That's okay, yeah. we'll go with a worm pool. A worm pool. When they went in that and they came out of it, I thought they travelled back in time. <laughs> Why did you think that? Because he landed on the surface and there's a dinosaur walking around. I was like, has they got... And there's a pterodactyl flying around. I'm like, have they got back in time? Well, they clearly said where they're but then it, But no, but then it... No, it was, this was before the text came up saying, oh, Earth's core and whatever. I didn't expect... Um, Arthur's mother... Did queen. you not? I saw that coming a mile away. No, no, I'm, say, no, 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 I'm not saying that I didn't expect it. I, of course, like, I'm saying... Okay, I expected it. But I didn't expect the way she's been living. It was like, uh, you know what I mean? No, I, I, I wasn't sure what they were doing. I wasn't, I, yeah, I wasn't it was thinking confusing. About, I wasn't thinking about it. But the moment Mera was saved by some mysterious person, I was like, that's, that's Atlanta, isn't it? Yeah, definitely. <laughs> that's Atlanta. There was, I wasn't surprised at all. Like, I was like, that's Atlanta. You must, now, Alfred, you must go on and face. You must face <laughs> this thing. <laughs> all right. My man, my no problem. Nah, my man. <laughs> I'll have to get my trident. I can imagine like walking like so smug into the, into the I mean um <laughs> into the cave. The moment where he, he him and his mum reunite, that was a nice little moment. It was a nice little touch, wasn't it? It was a nice little moment. And then yeah, that leads to where um Bit quick. Bit quick. Yeah, it was a bit quick. It's like Mum, Mum, there you are. I haven't seen you. I haven't seen you in like twenty five years. Uh, yeah, you gotta fight this thing, yeah. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> can we not like? Can we hug? Can you know, have a bit of a catch up. Can we have a catch up? Catch up all these uh, twenty plus years. No, nope. no, no. It's get, like, the, it's get, that trident. get that trident. Get that I've tried. I can't. <laughs> so, <laughs> all you want to do is just skate. You don't care about me, mother. <laughs> so um, yeah, and then we lead to that uh, fight where he fights. The, I can't remember the life of me. The name of this thing. This reminds me of the Kraken, really. Like the it's Kraken. like a Kraken or Cthulhu. I just want to see it. Cthulhu, that could have been it. I think it wasn't Cthulhu. Uh, it again, please correct us if we're wrong. It wasn't. It, no, it definitely wasn't Cthulhu. It just reminded me of Cthulhu. Like, I don't know. I, I really I don't remember really the I name. I just can't remember what the name of the thing was, but Aquaman, because he can talk to the sea life, because he, he can he can communicate with sea life, and he communicates with it. And he's like, oh, well, you can have the trident then. Or <laughs> <laughs> what? Said, That's why the trident. Hey, mate, can I just borrow this? Um, I've been guiding it for twenty hundred oh, years. I've been, two, guide, I've been guiding it for years. like. Uh, thousands and thousands of years, but to be, and I've, I've slaughtered a lot of other people who've tried to take it. But to be fair, I couldn't talk to them. <laughs> I could talk to you. You must be worthy. You must be all right. <laughs> Just if you don't get it, man, go away. I'll I'll, I'll eat you. I'll eat you. I'll eat you. <laughs> I'll eat you. <laughs> get him back. That's more or less what happens. Like he he's, he goes to he has a bit of a fight with it. But- and, no, the fight, it's not really a fight, though, is it? Well, no, he seems to be about get, getting hit by... He gets He gets absolutely... And then like, eventually he's like... And then eventually, that's how bad he gets Then beaten. eventually he's like, stop. And yeah, just... Okay. <laughs> like, oh. You can talk, You yeah. can talk. Whoa. Well, I've got to hear this guy out. I did actually like that scene because... Yeah, it was a cool scene. It was the fact that Arthur, this is the point where he's fulfilling yeah, he's his be- role to become the king. Become the king of Atlantis. Oh. Like, like Stop. I can be a king now. <laughs> I can talk to you. I am your king now. Oh, okay then. What so when he, oh, then he gets his costume. Oh, Finally, so he, yeah, about the he costume. gets the trident. There's that awesome scene where he opens his eyes and his eyes go all Aquaman. This costume. My God. This is... This is the one... This is the costume that we wanted in Justice League. Yeah. Yeah, well... See, why don't we have this in just his oh arm? Why God. can't I just have that? This is perfect. But now we're going now. This, I'm, I am I, so happy. I mean, like, I, I really like the film up to this point, but this point, I was just locked in because yeah. it was so. Some people will call it cheesy. Yes, it was, but it was so cool at the same time. Like, when he gets that trident and he and he comes out of that waterfall, all it trident with his full Aquaman costume, I'm like, this is Aquaman! Yeah. Oh my yeah. god. I was because when Aqu- when Jason Malo was first cast as Aquaman, I was like, Nah. 
No, I don't, <laughs> nah, mate. I don't want an Aquaman. I, you know, I, I would. You want, know what? You know, actually, the I standard want, Aquaman look is blonde, short. Blonde how hair, did, you know? did you feel like when you know you saw the long hair and the beard? You thought, okay, this is a more rough. Well, do you know it, it's, Aquaman rather than his blonde counterpart? Well, but well, it started like that because of how dark the DC used to. I guarantee you. But I think it's what Aquaman needed. No, yeah, he needed it, it at that time. He needed with, with it, Justice right? League. I, I just, I can guarantee that if DC wasn't going in this dark direction with the DCU at first, because they're going in the really dark direction, weren't they? Yeah. You know, a really dark, serious direction. This is so lighthearted compared to the Justice League. Yeah. <laughs> that, fr- but it works the, so. I well. don't know because before, when Batman v Superman were filming and you found out Aquaman had been cast, they showed the first promo picture of Aquaman. I don't know if you remember it. No. But it's so dark. Like he's not even wearing it. He's got like a weird. He looks like a barbarian. Like, yeah, and I compare that look. I'll get it, we'll get it up on the screen. Compare that look, like, as in that, to like pictures from the movie or posters from the movie now. It's night and day. <laughs> like <laughs> it, where where they were going and where they are now. Like so you're, you're telling me, right? This picture that you got from the screen. Someone like looked at this right now. They'd be like, "What's that? I can't see a thing." <laughs> <laughs> I was I was going more poetic with it. I, I, I was going like it was more. It was a darker toned picture with no bright colours. <laughs> you know. Bear in mind, I haven't seen this. <laughs> this first promo, ever promo bit picture, Jason Momoa's Aquaman. It was like all the colours. There was no colour in whatsoever. It was like toned down. It was like, do you know what I mean? Yeah. It, there was no bright colours. It was I all. Can, like, I can I can imagine. Whereas now it's really bright and like. Do you know what I mean? I love, I like how it's so bright and it's just so accurate. Really, it's good. It's, it's a good brilliant. tone. Um, See, and I reckon if they had made the Aquaman movie like they had originally intended the DCU to go down, it just wouldn't have ended up as like, no. good as this. No. Taking it, it's the problem when you take something too seriously, that's when it becomes easier to take the piss out of. Yeah. And they just didn't take itself too I seriously. Jason Moore did. Just, Jason Moore he, owned he, it. He, he owned it. He, he owned it. He suits the Because so well. Aqu- you can tell himself, when he put that Aquaman suit on, you can tell he was thinking I'm he properly was, Aquaman. He was and he was the Aquaman. And he, and he was proper having fun with it. And then that led to the, the whole war between oh, Atlantis. The, the big climax. The big climax. Oh, so you had the big oh, war between that. Atlantis and those crab people. I, I, I will say that I did enjoy that part equally. Maybe even just a bit more, but pretty much equally to Infinity Wars, Wakanda Battle. I won't go that far. I, I really liked it that so much. I say it to me, in person, I think it's equally was just as fun to watch. I'm not, okay. saying, I'm not saying if it's a better Oh battle. no, you're not saying I'm, it's I'm better, saying, yeah. I'm saying it was equally as fun to watch. So that proves that. Yeah. I'm just saying that, well, not prove it, I'm saying to me, it, it, no, this DC even, film I mean, yeah. felt just as fun as a Marvel movie. And I'm not saying they should be both like the same yeah, as, as each other. But I'm saying that's what DC it should be. It's been way more fun to watch, more enjoyable. The dark tone is done with. And right. the Kraken came up at the end. Oh, oh my god, when yes, Arthur he's arrives it. on yes. this thing and you're like, oh, what's this doing it? The thing is, this thing is so big. The people Aquaman think, is like people a little... People are going to be thinking, well, we're now pants right now. Aquaman, <laughs> we're speaking Aquaman's about Aquaman's controlling this great big massive thing, right? <laughs> and he's just a speck on the top of it. <laughs> <laughs> he's got like, his thing... He's like, how's he controlling that? It's like like a little, how can he see so far? It's like a little, this thing's so massive. It's just like a little tiny speck on the top of this thing's head. But I'll tell you what, mate. It was a good moment. <laughs> it, I, I'm, I, I, I'm not going to say a word. You, you, just, you put the words right out there for me. It was... You just came out just like... Hey, I'm here now. I'm here now. What's going on? <laughs> and uh, the creatures of the trench, he got on his side as well. He was like, come on. Let's let's, let's annihilate them. You can eat these. Come here, you ocean bastard. Ocean master. I'm after you. Ocean know. bastard. Ocean bastard. <laughs> Why didn't he call them ocean bastard? Ocean thing? bastard. Come here. That that that. Because well, this is where. Because like yeah. Because he has that really generic moment. Yeah. Like, they call me ocean master. <laughs> like, I already know. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, mate. We know. Yeah, mate. Anyway, let's fight. On top of that, was it? I forgot. It was, on, it was on like a ship. On one of the. It was like an Atlantean. Uh, submarine ship. Submarine thing. ship thing. Yeah. Um, that, that was that was pretty good. It was really good. It, it were really good. It wasn't. It didn't last quite as long as the first fight they did. No. Um. I wish it lasted a bit longer. In fact, if anything, the first fight was a lot more better. Than it was, the, yeah. It was. It was a bit the more climax itself. Yeah. I mean, I like the fight because again, the camera wasn't shaking or anything. You could actually see what was going on. Like you could see the choreograph or choreography of the fight and stuff. And you know, it was really satisfying to watch. And Arthur becomes king. And Arthur becomes king. 
And there you go. That, that's pretty much the story of Aquaman. Well, what? Most, of the, most of the scenes that we talked about. I'm just this whole ending. As soon as Aquaman gets that trident and gets the suit, that's when I was just like, yeah, that's uh, yeah. And now I can't wait. Everybody for a, will be hooked. I cannot that. wait for a full blown yeah, suit now because it's all gonna be that. Like, yeah, that's what you just want. And more, now he's yeah. now you want more because you know I know that from the comics, Aquaman is just the king of Atlantis. All there the is time. a lot of new comics coming yeah, out, and like, you know. It's Aquaman. Now that we're in prime Aquaman mode, he's he's the king of Atlantis now. You can do all now. Now maybe Aquaman. in the next movie, you can take on Black Man uh, and probably he'll, he'll defend, defend Atlantis. Atlantis. Yeah, de- de- defend now, Atlantis. Now he's the king. He's he's taking Atlantis. And now that we've had this movie, I want another Justice League movie. Not just yet, I don't think. I want another. I w- like. I don't even know when we're gonna get. Let get. League. Let just. Let well, them no. get the characters right first. Oh no, yeah. Let them get the it's characters just, right. If if they get all this done, then then do a Justice League movie. Yeah, you know. Yeah, because again, Shazam looks good. Obviously, it's not out yet, but that looks amazing. I can't wait for Shazam. I am looking forward to that too, which um, we will be talking about. We will talk about in another podcast down when the line when it's out, obviously. Yeah. Um, and it's just if they they're decent, and then obviously there's the One Woman sequel. There's one, thing, there's one thing that we forgot to talk about: the ending. The, the, oh, the, the mid credit scene. The, yeah, the mid credit scene. Yes, the mid credit scene. That was so satisfying. Yeah, it was, that it was, was that was something that because you have that one guy. I don't know his name. That that guy who. Who's con- who knows Atl- Atlantis exists? He's yeah. always on the TV and the news. Yeah. This was the work of the Atlanteans. <laughs> Everybody's like, you and your crazy theories. <laughs> He's like, no, it was Atlantis. I'm telling you. And Shut then- up, you madman. <laughs> <laughs> You're crazy. You're crazy. Atlantis isn't real. What are you mad? What? What? There's a guy who can fly around. Superman. Oh yeah, he. Exists. You don't believe Atlantis. You know, it's a story. It's a story. Yeah, there's a guy called Superman who can fly around and do all this stuff. Oh god, that exists, but Atlantis can't exist. No, 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 no. Go on, what are you saying about what was it? I then? Saying? Yeah, and then he, and then yeah, this guy finds Black Manta and he's like messing with his helmet. I wouldn't do that if I was you. I don't know why. Shoots his laser beams. <laughs> he's like, you got this right, my lattice, didn't you? Yeah, you, you sort of knew that maybe yeah. turn up in the credits, uh, mid scene credits. Yeah, and uh, the other one where finally. His dad comes on the pier. Then there she is. Uh, they, they're not thinking. Oh, you're back! It's finally. I'm gonna get lit. <laughs> oh, yeah, <laughs> boys! I'm gonna get the get some... things I do to her. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the things I've watched on the internet. I don't know. But seriously, though, uh, I really wanted that to happen. Though, when we <laughs> get back together, because you just felt sorry for the poor bloke. I reckon he's gonna die in the sequel. Ah, yeah, so you know what? I think like, that's uh, that's likely. It's such a happy ending that it's just yeah. going to go to crap. It usually does, doesn't it? it usually happens. Usually, like in that. the second movie, uh, movie. Okay, I'm telling you, I can't talk. In the second movie, yeah, in the second movie, basically, what happens is basically everything from the first movie gets completely mm. destroyed. <laughs> <laughs> they destroy the trident, gets broken. <laughs> His costume gets burnt. <laughs> he has to start all the way back from square one. He's supposed to expand the universe, not destroy it. Not expand <laughs> it and not go back to how it started. <laughs> so, overall, Jim, absolutely brilliant. I would recommend this to any DC fan and the general audience. Yeah, this 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 is the this DC. Is for, this is for the general. This is the public. DCEU done right. Yeah, the DCEU done. This, this is a great family DC friendly fans, movie as well. DC fans can be happy with this. It's good for general audience as well. Yeah. I'm going to buy it on Blu-ray or 4K. There you go. He's giving it a buy on Blu-ray. I'm not stealing Jeremy Jans. No, we're not stealing Jeremy Jans I'll, uh, I'll, I'll, I'll definitely be buying it when it comes out on 4K or Blu-ray or whatever. I guess we, we, we don't have a rating system, but we're no, just, we don't. I, I'm just going to say we absolutely recommend you watch this film. Yeah, we, recommend, we absolutely recommend Aquaman. It's great. Yes, it has its moments of... Cheesy. But this is a must-watch if you're a DC but fan. It's about if you're a DC, a superhero fan of anything, or if you just like good, mm. action-packed... Blockbuster movies, Aquaman's right up there. It's the, it's the one for you, I'm telling you. And I guess on that bombshell, it's time to end the podcast. I want to say thank you so much for watching. Please do leave a like and subscribe, and with the um, post notifications turned on, so when we premiere videos, you'll be always be notified when we go live. Uh, yeah, and the next week's episode is going to be another DC-related thing. We're going to be talking about what we want. For, from an upcoming Green Lantern Because movie. we love Green Lantern. We love so Green much. <laughs> so, yeah, stay tuned for that one, any DC fans. Um, so, yeah, thank you for checking out the podcast. I know it's a little bit different from Doctor Who because we've just done two... We've done two episodes of Doctor Who. We're yeah, do, but we, yeah. we'll expand film topic. We're going to 
Doing the, we're going to be doing a lot of experimentation it's with to be about films, films and the the structure. Um, what, what what is it? The, the structure of the video. Yeah, whether it's going to be a podcast of, or yeah. video. So yeah, once again, thank you for watching. See you later. Have a good day. Tune in next week. See you later. Take care. Bye bye. Ooh.